Hello and welcome back to another episode of XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. Damn, my name is Saiken and today... Today we're in a big, big mess. Uh, my name is Saiken and today we're continuing the good old two against uh, the Overhive campaign. Tabcat has trusted in Central's ability to maneuver the Avenger and that was a cardinal mistake. Of course, of course uh, Central was not able to do anything and uh, steered us right into uh, the enemies. As such, it will now fall upon me to hopefully make this right and get all the way here. We got a good team, we got a defense matrix and that's what's count, uh, what counts at the end of the day. Um, I will not waste a lot of time to be honest. We're immediately pulling the enemies and we'll hopefully get the guys down. All right, so. As is tradition with XCOM, uh, we're just exploding the entirety here. Let's see, I think this here is going to be a good start. We'll not get the Raptor guy, but we can deal with him a bit later. For now, all we want is a clear line of sight. Commando immediately got shredded. Elite Lancer, a failure. Why do we only have two turrets? I am pretty sure I upgraded uh, the defense matrix. Don't tell me someone has uh, reassigned engineers. That would be rather stupid. Well, we gotta make do with what we have, which apparently is two. And only two of the turrets. But it'll be fine. It'll be fine. Removing the remaining cover. There we go. Yeah, that's all good. Don't worry. Yep, that's a failure. Come on. You can do better than that. Rep the commando down to 1 HP. Moving up. Overwatching. Um, now we don't want to overwatch here because that would potentially trigger a pack further down. There we go. Good. First pack fully eliminated. Chrysalids decide to join the party. So do these guys here. Okay, how about, how about, how about, how about, we are moving all the way to here. That should give us proper line of sight. Okay, all we need to do is find the right position. Something along the lines of moving to here. Uh, 
hitting the transmitter. And what's read it? Uh, let's just destroy it. <laughs> Target destroyed. Excellent work, Menace 1 5. Shen, what's our status? Whatever it was, destroying it seems to have lifted the disruption field. Engine control systems are coming back online. We should be clear to take off within 60 seconds. Very good. So we're of course not letting anyone uh, stay behind. Squad on board and get moving. Rolling. But at the same time, let's brace. Heading out. Moving up. I'm watching. Reload Overwatch. Uh, and a good old Overwatch, and some more Overwatch, and definitely Overwatch. Uh, that was an execute, wasn't it? Whoa, you see that? <laughs> Nuts! I somehow feel bad for you guys um, for essentially cheesing it so hard that this is going to be a short mission. But yeah, Reaper sniper combination in these missions here definitely, definitely good. Oh wow, they have a Andromedon Prime, not good. Well, we can't leave yet anyway, so might as well showcase a bit of the strength of how this here normally works. Uh, and how about we're just removing all of this. Blaster bomb into whoosh. There we go. Nope. Close but no cigar. There we go. The upgraded turrets are definitely a bit better. Four percent? Oh no, that's the Crusader. Okay, I was like, what? Let's start with the Valkyrie. There you go. Into a Hunter kill. Codex Prime. All right. Well, we had a, we have a couple of codices there. But we're not going to fight them yet. Instead, I'm doing exactly what we should be doing, which is bracing. And teaching this Valkyrie here a valuable lesson, which is don't mess with XCOM. Lots of 100% shots. All right, problem solved. This is a bit embarrassing. I don't want to trigger anything. And we can't move away. Hmm. Well, I tell you what, we're just going to overwatch. Because these guys are just going to run into us. A delicate placement. This should be okay. 
and this will not reveal us but it's already prepping these guys no 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 just no um Good. Well, not good that the position is compromised, but good that that problem is solved. Get it together. I got nothing. Commander, the situation just got worse. Resistance There's nothing that just got worse. Uh, just a couple more incoming. Easy peasy. Good. We're continuing to move back. Next turn we can flee. For now, everything's fine. Don't be a crybaby. For once, spread forward, man up. And please, don't always be such a wet blanket. I wonder if they have ever recorded positive lines of him. I've very seldomly heard him anything positive to say, like Bradford is the incarnation of a pessimist. This guy is going to die early, um, and maybe he has antidepressive uh, uh, stimulants or is using pills or whatnot, but like he's, he's just seeing the glass half empty all the time. You have a really good month, oh, come on, now we need to be careful because... The aliens are making progress. We gotta make uh, move fast. Then we're just slaughtering everybody. Ah, the situation just got worse. I would love to hear a uh, celebration from him for once. But I think Bradford is incapable of these feelings. Bradford just feels emptiness. Bradford just feels emptiness. Reload, Overwatch. Reload, Overwatch. It's really just Overwatch. All right, show us what you got. Wow, three? They really love to deploy these sonic um, captains. Problem with them landing first is they will now draw all of the overworld shots. Whilst the other guy that is at one hit point is effectively ignoring us. Nice, good shot. Alright, so we killed one. Unfortunately, the guy with stasis actually can take a single action, but he wastes it with double movement. Ah, that is a problem. I was about to say, wow, that is a problem because he will get actions for every hit. It was an Andromedan Prime. But the execution will make that an Andromedan crime, I suppose. We just murdered it. All right, keep on going. Yes, we know it's dead. Yes, we know there is no supernatural speed happening. No need for the game to slow down. Yep, yep, we've seen it all. Okay, so these three guys won't do anything either. And next round, we are just going to evac. That's the idea. And uh, then 
this Avenger ambush uh, was one of the quicker missions. Alright, I'll pause here and we'll fast forward until uh, he's done with his super slow-mo death animation. Okay, so it didn't fully work out in our uh, favor. Game couldn't uh, fully be restored, but uh, that is fine. We are going to lift off. I just uh, replayed the turn. It wasn't exactly one on one the turn that happened beforehand, but we were about to go out anyway, so not much has been lost in, in that game crash. Unfortunately, what's happening with the uh, primes is that uh, there is an ability called uh, unnatural speed or whatever it's uh, called is being triggered whenever they are being hit and my explanation of what just happened is you hit uh, the Andromedon the Andromedon triggers unnatural speed it gives uh, them an ability at the same time it goes through the entirety of the weapon stack determines that the execute wo trigger was uh, was correct Therefore, the Andromedon uh, Prime dies before the unnatural speed can actually happen. And then on top of it, an Andromedon Prime shell was about to spawn. So I think the three actions there um, were just layered on top of each other and created a deadlock because the uh, speed was waiting for the Andromedon to be in existence, but that model no longer existed and the new one was trying to spawn in. So. That's how I um, imagine that that problem happened. There is no such thing as a prime in the normal game. The only uh, prime activities are the alien rulers and the alien rulers don't function like primes. So they always get an action uh, irregardless. Plus none of the alien rulers has a shell that can spawn in. So yeah, uh, that uh, was that we are done with uh, the mission and uh, next up we could leave it to Tapcat to do the Codex brain coordinates I mean that's an option I would say um, we could uh, also gain some more intel we already have the entirety of the world, right? So we have plenty of options to stop the Avatar project. Just might as well get some intel. We have more than enough supplies. Elarium is a shortcoming. Do we have any way of getting Elarium? Heavy weapon, assorted loot, intel. No. The answer is no, Saiken. I am sure you will find the results to be as intriguing as I do, Commander. Phantom Slayer rounds. Okay, Phantom Slayer rounds, uh, Elarium um, laced flechettes that disrupt sonic energies that control the dead as well as destroy rotten tissues of the lost. Not sure what exactly that does. But sonic weapons are dope. I would love to have them. Unfortunately, we can't, currently can't get them. Might as well do that research here for now. I'll notify you as soon as the report is available. Sure, let's bond. Wait, wait, wait. Uh, that's a sniper and. No, 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 no. Let's not just bond them, Saiken. So, field medic here was supposed to be uh, bonded with our zapper. Hmm. Nah, we're not just bonding you. I feel like we're uh, arranging marriages here. All right, improve the bond for the others. That's good. And let's go. Let's go, baby. Some of our people are a little worse for wear after that last covert action, but if we give them time to rest, they'll be fine. Cool. We need definitely a new uh, mission and we're going to do that, but let's, for starters, appreciate that good old Implacable is now a colonel and a good one. So, Field Medic may use medkits to apply combat stimulants. Okay. 
Uh, that is rapid shot, but uh, a little bit weaker than rapid shot. And armed intervention, which I've tried in my other playthrough, and it was some so and so. Uh, not that great. So we're just going to go with burst fire because that's actually really nice. And implacable could do with quick draw. That is fantastic. Uh, allows him an action and then another shot. That's really good. Ever Vigilant uh, into Sentinel, not bad either. Implacable, of course, one of my favorite skills, just good, but we're going with Quick Draw, strong ability. And his body is XQ6. Can we get another promotion mission is the question. Oh, there you go, that's already a promotion. PCS would ne definitely be nice. Touch plus nine. Oh, yeah, the game is tempting me. Now we're going to get a promotion first. XU6 is getting that. Um, with it, we do have a very, very nice setup. Down to six days. Saving some time here, the two of them. can begin to bond a bit further on the mission. That's good. We got 90 um, intel and what I will do is I'll spend it right away so that we have a chance to get more intel rewards. And what we're going to do is we're going to get... Oh, we need 95. I wanted to get that Colonel Zapper because another Zapper increases the chance that uh, we can bond them. Another war suit, that's good. Oh, and there is the next mission, a retaliation one. I would love to play it, but according to the rules, I need to call Tapcat, to call the uh, my telephone Joker, because uh, I need help uh, with that one. Uh, so Tapcat, please Please guide us in this darkest hour. Another retaliation mission is upon us. Uh, that's pretty much it from my end, guys. I hope you enjoyed that short and sweet episode. If you uh, love to see more, head over to Tapcat's channel. And if you enjoyed what you've seen and enjoyed my company, then just say hello, post a comment, and uh, try to smash that like button. Take care and have a good one. Bye-bye.